I was one of the first few guys into this dark structure. It's early morning, so it's still dark out. And I went in and I just saw that was the direction to go. There's no lights in the house, I'm on nods. My nods hit the overhang. We're really clearing this house. I can't just, hey, hold on guys, let me fix my nods. <laughs> and so I just turned and did what you're trained to do. I turned and I went to a stairwell, which was right next to me and the guy behind me, he picked up the spot right behind me. I'm 5'10" is at least 6'3". He walks down this hallway and immediately it's like boom. There was a barricaded shooter with a shotgun aimed just up the hallway and he was aiming roughly at where he thought someone's head would be, but so tall, it hit him here. It hit his plates and it was a slug too. F destroyed his plates. He was able to engage. And so that guy was disposed of, but if I hadn't hit that overhang, I'm dead. He ended up living through that and he lived through the second one. But that one actually haunts me in some ways more than the other.